Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Aries for the week of July 21st. And a special thank you goes out to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing and for subscribing as well. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, your first card out. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. So new beginnings. Finances coming in. You planted those seeds. Now it's going to pay you dividends for many of you. You manifested this opportunity and you wanted it for a long time. And this is uh, for many of you is in a new career, which is going to, like I said, give you more finance opportunities to build your wealth going forward. And it seems like that's what a lot of you want to do this up and coming week. Make sure your finances are secure. The Page of Swords, yeah. New ideas. You have a thirst for knowledge and a new way of communicating with people. You're um, mixing it up a little bit more this week. For some of you, this is a storm warning. You're going to have a disagreement with somebody. Now, this could be a relative, a friend, somebody who's close to you that has a tendency to speak before they think or feel that they have the right to say something. And you're going to not have any of that. You're going to make sure that when this gets started, you're going to nip it right quick and make sure that you stand your own ground. And the death card, yeah, there's an ending. But you're understanding that this ending has to come and get it finished with because this will be also the beginning of your new transformation going forward so you're a little bit sad that this cycle is ending but you're also realizing that you need something that is going to go and grow with you so you've learned you're moving forward And the seven of rods. Yeah, definitely standing your ground. You know, there's been a few challenges or more than a few in some cases. But you've maintained your self-control in all of it. You know, you've made sure that you did what you had to do. Made sure people respected you. You know, you got your point across. And you've drawn the line in the sand. And you're not turning around anymore. You're understanding that this is your final decision for yourself going forward. And the magician. Yeah, once you take action, you're just going to just power through it because you've manifested this. You've wanted this for a long time and you're now coming into your own power. You know, your own potential. You're understanding what it is that you want in your life. And like magic, it's happening for you. Finally, you, you've wanted it for a very long time and you're getting out from underneath difficult challenges that you've been dealing with for a while and you've realized that it's your time. You've seen the gold ring, you're not only reaching for it, you're striving for it and will succeed in achieving it. And the four of pentacles. So yeah, most definitely saving money. You want security, comforts. And you're in control of how that's going to turn out for you. And you know that. So that you're taking the best steps for yourself. You're not overspending. You're not, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. So that if you, you know, had something that you needed money for, you're not going to stress about paying for it. Because you know that there is enough there more than accurate and adequate for you to be still okay. And the tower card, yeah, something suddenly changed around you. And it gives you that insight. You know, this is an awakening. And you're understanding that. You're not, a, you're, how would I put this? You're not upset about it. Because you had already had a more than a strong feeling that this was happening but now you've had verifications of it so you're like I said making sure that your finances are in order things around you are secure for you 
you know, you've seen the light at the end of the tunnel, this is your wake up call, and you're cleaning the slate. You know, doing what you have to do in order to make sure that you feel secure in the future. And the Ten of Rods, yeah. Putting the, you know, the burdens down. Ex letting others accept the responsibility for their problems, not yours anymore. You've put in a lot of hard work and you've completed what you need to complete for yourself. And now you want people to take responsibilities for them, their own selves. And that's what you're doing. You're just putting the burdens down, moving yourself forward, understanding that it's time to release yourself from unnecessary things. And the Five of Cups, yeah. There's been a little bit of regret over some of the failures that you've had, you know, and some disappointment, but you're okay. You know, you'll pick yourself up. Yes, it was a loss, not a tremendous loss, but you're understanding that it helped you grow and, and notice things more. And you're grieving it, which is normal as well, but you're okay with it because you're realizing that what it has taught you and, and helped you to see is for the betterment of you. And you won't repeat it. Like you won't go back and do it again because it didn't feel good to do it the first round. So now you're understanding that now you can move forward. Ooh, and the two of cups. Now this could be very nice for some of you. This could be a beginning of a new partnership, a mutual attraction for one another and respect. And you want the same things. You just agree and you laugh at each other's jokes and it's all natural it's not you know and this could be somebody that you've known for quite some time but never really took that look before or they could be looking at you realizing that hey you know this person's pretty pretty much what i want so this could be the beginning of a brand new relationship for some of you so there's a mutual attraction and it could lead to marriage in the future. So this is a really good connection that you're coming into. And it's going to be quite surprising for both of you. And the Emperor, yeah. Getting out from underneath somebody else's tutelage, you know, understanding that it's time for you to step out into the world. You're feeling independent, you're feeling more self-assured, and it's your time. You know, you put a lot of hard work and, and effort and energy into all that you have succeeded and got this far in your life. And you've definitely done it because you've wanted it. Now you're understanding that, okay, I have stuck to my guns with my choices, what I wanted to do, and I'm now carrying out the plans that I have going forward. You're not allowing yourself to sway off track you're moving forward, you're understanding that you, these plans that you have now made for yourself are the best ones for you going forward. And the Six of Cups, yeah, that's all right. So a little bit of familiar, familiarness with this, you know, and you're having some nostalgia, looking back, you know, happy memories, smiles. Maybe you've gone through a neighborhood where you grew up or you had a best friend in. And it just sort of put that smile back on your face and give you that optimism that you probably haven't felt in a while. But you're okay with it because it's meant to be. You know, you're just enjoying the moment as and the thoughts as they are. You know, the flooded memories will not only give you that feeling back but that optimism for the future oh and the two of rods look at you you're planning for the future you're making progress and you're discovering that there's some things you need to leave behind for some of you you're leaving a home that you have you know maybe been at for quite some times but you've got the whole world in your hands and you're making plans now for a whole different outlook for yourself. Some of you are actually starting to um, look into taking trips. You know, maybe you've always wanted to and you never have, but now you've decided that, you know, what's holding you back? So you're headed on that 
new adventures. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But yours are all about movement. You know, understanding where you're at, how long it took you to get there, feeling comfortable with what you have, and moving on. All right. Schooling, study, and education help you with life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. And there you are. All right. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.